Anthropic just dropped Claude Sonnet 4.5 and just in time for my new series on the edge. So this is going to be a series where I look at all the latest models and just take one model at a time and we're going to see over time how that improves. So Anthropic made a claim here. 4.5 is the best coding model in the world. So that's a big claim coming off straight off in the blog post here. So uh, you can see it's the strongest model for building complex agents, the best model at using computers, and it shows substantial gain in reasoning and math. On the SWE benchmark, it has passed 77.2, and they also claim this is the most aligned model yet. What I wanna focus on is just the test I did with it, and kind of how my first impressions is. Okay, so I started off in the browser here and I said build and compile an executable app from the documentation. So I uploaded some documentation about the video model Kling 2.5 Pro and I gave it all the information in Python, but I said don't use Python, refactor to C++, Go, etc. or similar what works best. And what's interesting that there are no documentation for Go or C++ here. Right, you can see that. So in the app that should run on Mac OS, the user can enter a file API key plus an image, and then it should generate a video in return. So the browser here kind of went through everything. It created these artifacts you can see here with the code, right? And we have some other artifacts. We have the build MD, and it kind of did a full refactor here and wrote the code. Maybe not a refactor, but it wrote the code in Go, right? That's what it selected. So what I did next is I actually went over to Claude um, code. So this is gonna be tomorrow's video, Claude 2.0. And I fed in all the information here for the app, right? And it just started working hard on this. So this is, if we go to model now, or I guess you can see it down here, this is the Sonnet 4.5 model. So what we ended up with is something I wanna show you. So if we head over to cursor, you can see here is the full Go file, right? Looks pretty compressed. Uh, so if we run this now, we're just gonna do uh, dot slash clean video gen. This will open up an app now. And it's not special, but you can see we have a working app here, right? In the app, uh, in Mac, sorry. So we can enter our file key, we can upload an image, we can include a prompt. So let's try it out. Okay, so let's paste in the key. You can see I like the addition of the hide uh, characters here. Uh, let's just pick an image. So I'm gonna go to images. I have an image here, right? And the prompt is gonna be a beautiful cinematic video with smooth camera movement, okay? Generate video, and it just works. So this is gonna send this image plus this prompt to the API, and we're gonna get something in return. So I'm just gonna let this run for a while, and let's check it out. Okay, so you can see video generated. Now we can copy the URL. We can open this in the browser, so that's pretty smooth. So let's watch it. So you can see, perfect. That was a five second video of this girl holding the camera and turning around. And we can just keep generating if we want to. We can close this, add a new prompt. So yeah, I was super impressed by that. So that was how easy it was to generate like a Mac OS app in Go here, just to generate videos. So one of my favorite people in the AI industry is Simon Villison. He has done a test of Claude 4.52. And he said, it's probably the best coding model in the world, at least for now. So he always has this same test. You can see he has this Pelican test. So I thought we can run this too. Uh, he has always done this. So let's just try this Pelican test here on Sonnet 4.5, great. And then we can kind of compare our Pelican to his. And he's been doing this for ages, right? So I think this is what he uh, got, right? So let's compare ours to this. So we ended up with this one, not too bad, right? And if we compare it to this, it looks very similar. So that was pretty cool. So what I have left of testing is uh, just playing more around with uh, Sonnet 4.5 in Claude Code. Uh, hopefully that is gonna be for tomorrow's video. Also, I gotta give the API a more uh, of a test and I got some few more things, but I think my first impression is really good. I was super impressed how it kind of handled the refactoring or maybe not refactoring, but uh, writing uh, from the documentation in another language than the documentation with edits. So if you look at the documentation, you can see everything here is in Python. So it had no issues just turning from Python into Go and it worked straight out of the box. So basically it did one shot this app here. So I was super impressed by that. And I'm kind of excited. I'm really excited to go back to Claude Code and testing it out on kind of my old uh, yeah, setups I have to see how well it works. So I would definitely test out Sonnet 4.5 
Is it like a revolution? I don't think so. Uh, but we get these incremental steps and it's going to be interesting in this series to follow along just to see how these models improve. So uh, I plan to do like a tier list and stuff of models in different categories. I'm going to do video models, image models, text models and we're going to do coding agents too. And I want to kind of make my own tier list that always changes. So yeah, that was basically Claude 4.5. There's a lot of testing left to do, but my first impression is really good. I liked how it worked and I like the speed and the agentic tool calling seems very good. So yeah, go check it out and I'll see you again tomorrow.